Hi, my name is Kareem, as you just saw. Uh, my dad is Lebanese, and my mom's Egyptian born, but she's Palestinian Greek. And I was born in the US, and I've been living in Dubai for 20 years. <laughs> I have an insane case of identity crisis. <laughs> I mean, it's hard. It's hard to make decisions in my life. I mean, am I American or am I Greek? Do I pay my taxes or do I pretend like I don't know what taxes are? <laughs> Am I Lebanese or am I Egyptian? When I get a salary bonus at work, do I put it on a down payment for a BMW? <laughs> or do I open a shisha cafe in Hajman? <laughs> but sometimes it makes life easy. I mean, if I'm in the US, I, I go with it, I'm American. Uh, if I'm in a taxi here, someone asks me where I'm from, I say I'm Lebanese. And of course, when I'm ordering chicken at KFC, I'm Egyptian. <laughs> so growing up, it was hard. I mean, I had to, I promised myself that I'm not going to let my children go through this. I'm not going to allow them to have the same identity crisis that I had. I had to fix this, you know? So of course, I married a woman who's Jordanian-Palestinian, grew up in Muscat, and was born in Kuwait. <laughs> Uh, my wife's here right now, actually. Seema's sitting right there, yeah. We have, uh, two, uh, we have twin boys. They're eight months old right now. And yeah, we, we deserve that round of applause. It's really difficult to be here on a weekend evening and on time. <laughs> Babe, uh, you got the baby monitor? Perfect. And uh, you left the window a little bit open in the back, win back seat? It's okay. No, my kids are the cutest. So they're in this phase right now where whenever we walk down the street with them, they get a lot of attention from people. And also they're trying to speak to us and we don't understand what they're saying. It's so cute. And also like anything they can get their hands on, they put in their mouth. I call it the Paris Hilton phase. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to the Donald Trump phase. That's when they just say no every time I say something. They deny saying something a few minutes later, and they just brag about everything. Uh, Donald, uh, we need, we have a meeting now. No! Uh, Donald, the queen's on the phone, she wants to talk. No! She's a poopy head. <laughs> no, I don't know if that's going to be a good phase. Um, so yeah, it, I blame the internet for Donald Trump, honestly. The internet's a crazy place. Have you ever went on the internet to try to solve one of your problems? You will just end up with a bunch of other problems. <laughs> So I went on there because I like to garden and I had this aphid infestation. There are these tiny yellow insects. So I went online and I'm like, okay, how can I get rid of these insects? And I'm not joking, the solution is to release ladybugs into your garden. And um, if you go on Amazon.com right now, you'll see that they sell ladybugs. <laughs> so I released ladybugs into the garden and that was great. They ate up the aphids, but now like, I have a bunch of ladybugs and then a bunch of spiders came in and crickets that want to eat them. So I went online to find out how do I get rid of the spiders, you know? And I found out that I need to release frogs into the garden. Anyways, long story short, I now have a tiger in my garden. <laughs> my gardener's been missing for a month. But on the bright side, my garden is beautiful and aphid-free. Thank you.